Hey guys, welcome to Podkins, and welcome to my co-host today, Matt Webkins. Hello. Thanks for being with me today, Matt. Thank you for having me. Of course. Now, we just had an amazing week. Yep. Because Webkins Day came and went. What were some of your highlights? For sure, the new Webkins theme. That yeah. was really awesome. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yep. And it's still available until May 8th. That's right. For Kins Cash in the W Shop. Mm-hmm. Another thing was the Webkins free pet. Yes, the Decade Dragon. Which was a community pet, and it looks awesome. Yeah, and so we had to keep that a surprise yep, for a couple months. And it was really tough because people were guessing what our big surprise was going to be. Well, a lot of people were asking us to give it away for free, and we knew we were going to anyways, <laughs> but we couldn't say anything. We couldn't, so we're just like, we'll tell you when it's available. Mm-hmm. But also, you got to log in on April 29th. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really love seeing uh, everyone adopting their new dragon and naming their dragon and having fun with it. What did you name yours? I named mine Tenor, like oh, T-E-N-N-E-R. Nice. I was pretty original. I named mine uh, Matt Webkins. Oh, did like you? Like all my other pets. <laughs> <laughs> That's smart, though. I like it. What was your favorite thing about Webkins Day? It was really great to get the Webkins Year 10 gift box. And I know that's something that happens every year, but this year it had so many items in it and a lot of really great collectibles that I'll be happy to keep for a long, long time. Yeah, they were really cool looking. Plus the Wheel of Yum and all the cake pieces. Yes, uh, I was super lucky. I got a couple from the early years of Webkins. Wow, I didn't get <laughs> yeah. any of the like the year one or two. Oh, well, you can always trade for them if you want to get your hands on those. That's true. Now, the fun of Webkins Day, of course, it happened on April 29th, but it's also continuing until May 8th. Mm-hmm. So one big thing that you guys can do is look for time capsules in your dock every day, plus a letter in your kin's post. And there's a little puzzle piece in each time capsule that if you put them all together, it will create a picture. Right? Of something. Of something. And it's a mystery. It's a surprise. So you guys got to find out by putting them all together. Now, another thing you can do is you can enter to win a Webkins Year 10 Magic W plush pet yep. by visiting webkinsnews.com and posting a photo in the Share Center before May 8th. So if you haven't done this yet, you still have a little bit of time. What we want to know is which of your plush pets would make an amazing BFF, best friend forever, for the new Magic W pup. What about yours? Do you have any that would make a good plush? I think I have a lot. All my plush pets are very friendly. So I think they'd all welcome the Magic W pup. But specifically, maybe my Flutter Pig would be a good choice. Nice. Yeah. Okay, and one more thing. We want to remind you to vote in the greatest pet competition on webkinsnews.com. Have you been voting, Matt? Every day. (laughs) Every day. Well, it is a different vote every day. Um, We started out doing lots at once, but now it's one single matchup every day until May 8th. So as we record this, there are four pets still in the competition. So we want to encourage you to go to webkinsnews.com to vote for your favorite, and we'll see what the greatest pet ever will be. Sweet. Shall we check what's in our kin's post? Yes. In our last episode, we asked you to tell us about your communities and what they mean to you. A.M. Caramello wrote, On my street, I have tons of friends my age, so I can bike ride, play trampoline, play soccer, or even hockey. Oh, nice. See, that's a great example of a local community, right? It's Mm -hmm. your street and all the people that live there. We used to do, like, street basketball. Like, everyone on the street would play basketball. Nice. It was really fun. That's so cool. Ojibwa wrote, I love my church and I love the USA. One other community I belong to is the Ojibwa Indian tribe of Red Lake. My Ojibwa name means bird woman, and I love all animals, especially my 100-plus webkins. Wow. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. I am also a vegan, and vegans have a big community as well. Communities are great. They sure are. There's so many in just that one sentence that she belongs to. That's incredible. Wolfie126 commented, A community to me is people bonding, having fun, and inviting your friends over. This Webkins community is so awesome because you meet new people around the world, and I like being a part of it. P.S. Webkins rules. Nice. (laughs) It's actually cool because I was reading the comments today, and someone was saying they're from Korea. Wow. It's like, whoa, that's crazy. (laughs) Yeah, the Webkins community is super global. There's Mm -hmm. people from everywhere. Love it. Lego Dude wrote, what communities am I a part of? That's a huge question. Easy answer would be school, sports, church, etc. But the bigger community that we are all a part of is our countries. I use plural because although a large portion of Webkins are from the great USA, many are not. So to be a proud member of your nation is an important part of community. We may not always agree on what happens, but we all understand the importance of loving our country and trying to make it great. Another important community is the global community. We join together in Webkins World to have fun and be creative, but that is just an example of what we do globally. The more we work together to make the world a better place, the smaller the world becomes. This sense of community helps every Everyone to strive to do more and try and make it even better. Very well said. Thanks for writing in. If you want to write to us, leave a comment in the section below this article or on YouTube or email us at podkinsatgans.com. 
We're so happy to chat with our guest today, Webkin's marketing associate, Mandy. Thank you. Thanks for being with us. No problem. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> so first off, we want to ask, can you describe a little bit what your job is like and how does the Webkins community factor into your daily work? My job is to come up with promotional ideas for um, ways we can communicate Webkins World to our audience. And I write ads. Mm-hmm. I help you come up with contests for social media. So I guess it's it's really trying to pay attention to what kids on the site are responding to and try and adapt and come up with fun promotions that we think that will appeal to our users. Yeah. So it's pretty creative, right? Yeah, it is. It's fun trying to come up with new ways to reach kids and appeal to them and try new things that we've never done before. Yeah, absolutely. So we work pretty closely with you. So Mandy, what's the favorite part of your job and what's your favorite part about Webkins as a whole? Oh, that's hard to say because (laughs) I love lots of parts of my job. I think I really like the fact that I get to interact with so many different people in the company and I get to mix with all the departments and work with everybody, which is really fun. Obviously, creative is your favorite. Yeah, Obviously. Well, (laughs) I used to be in creative, so I kind of have a soft spot. That's right. That's right. But that's one thing. I get to mix with everybody and interact with everybody. And let's see, my favorite part of Webkin's World, that is a tough one, but I really like decorating. So probably my house. Oh, is yeah? my favorite part. But if I had like a game in the arcade or something, it would be Jumbleberry Fields. Nice. Oh, Michael would like to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's like Michael. Don't Lincoln's boost his ego. Game. I <laughs> love it. I love it. If I, it's a good thing we can only play once a day because I would just play all day. <laughs> That's so funny. You said you love room decorating. I do. Do you have a favorite theme that you love to play with? Oh, my gosh. There's too many. There are so many now and so many new ones. I like that new Blue Avenue theme. Yes. Is that what it's called? Yeah. That, mm-hmm. one is, theme? that mm-hmm. one is amazing. It's gorgeous. But yeah, I like the more sort of the more sort of realistic okay. themes than, than some of the wilder ones. Yeah. Yes. So um, if you could trade places with any Webkins host... Who would it be and why? Well, I hope this doesn't make me sound really lazy, but I think it has to be Sheldon because (laughs) obviously who doesn't want to live on a tropical island? And also, you know what? Everybody who's coming to see him, they're going to be in a good mood because they're on vacation. And yeah, he probably gets a discount at the spa. That is such a good answer. Honestly, now that's going to be my favorite weapon. Isn't that everybody's answer, I would think? Too bad he didn't win mayor. Yeah. That would have been nice. I know. But then he would have had to leave the island probably. So you know what? He was probably kind of crossing his fingers he didn't win. (laughs) I would be. (laughs) So Mandy, today's episode is all about communities. What does being part of a community mean to you? I guess it means working together towards a shared purpose, Mm -hmm. um, sharing something that you're passionate about and just being respectful and helping others out. So a lot of what you're saying actually reminds me of the Webkins community. What's it like working with them so closely? I love working with the Webkins community. I love it when we do contests and promotions because everybody gets so excited. And even though everybody wants to win, when somebody wins a contest, they're all so excited for the winner and they're jumping in to say congratulations. Yeah, they're pretty supportive. They are. I love it. And I mean, I love the fact that, you know, we do have friends because I think when I started on Webkins, that was when we just introduced the fact that you could send out friend requests. And and it's so nice that you have that ability to help each other, Mm -hmm. you know. Move and now forward in the game. With um, all of our social media platforms, it's sort of like the community has spread outward and now more and more people are partaking. So how can we be stronger members of our own communities, whether that's, you know, school or a sports team or a neighborhood? I think to be a strong member of a community, you want to be respectful. You want to go into it with a positive attitude and upbeat and friendly and look for ways you can jump in and help. If you see someone struggling or if you see an area where where, you know, you think things could be done better. Don't be afraid to jump in, support your friends, support your co-workers and and always rise to the occasion and try and think about what's best for everybody as a whole. And because, you know what, we raise each other up when we yeah. when we support each other.
other. Absolutely. So if there's anyone out there listening who's interested in sort of finding a job when they're older that has to do with sort of like gaming communities or online communities, do you have any advice for them about how to get to where you are, for instance? Well, the great thing about the online community is there are so many opportunities for people just to jump in and take part. And actually, that is a great way to lead to new opportunities because you build relationships with people. So if you find a community of something you're really passionate about, then just jump in and be active in that community, develop relationships with people, and hopefully it will open up new doors for you to pursue what it is you're passionate about in a professional field, maybe. So before we let you go, do you have a favorite memory from the Webkins Day that just passed? Well, it's kind of an ongoing memory because I'm really excited about the greatest pet vote that we right. launched right. on Webkin's Day. And it's been so much fun. And Janelle yeah. knows every day I keep <laughs> checking <laughs> and refreshing to see who's winning. And yeah. it's fun to see the upsets and surprises. And it was You've probably said already, it was very hard for us to come up with that list. It was really tough. So there are so many pets. But yeah, I'm having such a fun time watching that, even though, of course, the pot belly pick got knocked out. <laughs> but That's Mandy's favorite. Yeah, that was my favorite. But <laughs> Who are you rooting for now? Who? Oh, you know what? I think it has to be either the tiger or the timber wolf. Yeah, the timber wolf is mine. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think that timber wolf is kind of a favorite. Mm-hmm. So. We'll have to see. There's been a lot of upsets so far. I know. We've been surprised by some of them, but yeah. (laughs) Well, cool. Thanks so much for chatting with us today, Mandy. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you very much for inviting me. It's been so much fun. (laughs) Bye. Bye. You know, Matt, I keep coming back to the fact that the Webkins community is such a great place to be. It really is. And if you think about it, we kind of have our own community here at Gans. That's right. You mean among the staff, right? Like the different departments, people work on different things, but it all kind of feeds into one big project. Absolutely. Kind of cool. Yeah. Um, one thing that I didn't mention before that happened around Webkin's Day um, that I really loved was our 10-year look back video. And right. I'm sure a lot of our players have seen it already, but if you haven't, you can go to our YouTube page to see it. Um, and it's basically a video that celebrates all of the memories that we've had in the last 10 years. And um, you know what? I'm not ashamed to admit that when the first time I saw it, I cried a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty nostalgic. It is. It's really nostalgic and beautiful. So I want to encourage everyone to go see it. But yeah, so with the recent recent addition of the Decade Dragon to Webkin's World, we noticed so many creative pet names were being shared by our players. Except for mine. Oh my gosh, yeah. Except for yours, Matt. I mean, but you got a thing going, so I appreciate it. (laughs) (laughs) I have an identity to keep. (laughs) You do have an identity, but that's creative in itself. Mm -hmm. So our next episode will be all about pet names. How do you come up with names for your pets? Maybe you take inspiration from friends or family? Or maybe you look up names in baby books or ask other players for advice. What's your process? We want to hear about how you come up with awesome pet names. Plus, tell us your favorite names you've given to your pets. Leave a comment in the section below this article or on YouTube. Or email us at potkins at Thanks for listening. Bye.